Seems like mass shootings are more common these days. It's because they are. According to the latest FBI crime data, there has been a steady increase. From 2000 to 2006, the U.S. averaged about six and a half active shooter events per year. From 2006 to 2013, that number jumped to 16 and a half mass shootings a year. So how is that affecting people like you and me, and how real is the threat here at home? New at 10, our Rebecca Slacker joins us. And Rebecca, you asked the experts those very questions today. Yeah, Carrie, there really aren't any easy answers to these questions, but today I spoke with a therapist and an ATF agent who here locally are both doing their parts to help Tennesseans deal with extreme situations like we saw in California. A frantic response to an unthinkable tragedy. Many of us are actually thinking about a lot lately. This is crazy. There's just too many shootings. Too much bad stuff going on here. San Bernardino Wednesday, Colorado Springs, the Friday before. You lose it. I mean, the first thing is you freak out. You see everything like this on the news, but you never think it's going to happen to you. Law enforcement says active shooting situations are on the rise. The unfortunate thing is when something like this happens, you can't predict it, you don't know about it. All you can do is respond to it as quickly as possible. They usually feel far away, but in the last few months, an Antioch movie theater and recruiting offices in Chattanooga, events that weigh on people's minds, said therapist Dr. J. Gregory Briggs. Clients struggling especially with anxiety, depression, your brain wants to go to catastrophic thinking, the worst case scenario. He says it's important to remember these horrific scenes will most likely never involve you. It's good to have an emergency plan just in case, then move on. I tell my clients all the time, we need to think about these things as much as necessary and as little as possible. Can't stop seeing crime scene tape? Distract yourself in a healthy way. Things like exercise, hobbies, uh, having conversations with family members where you're deliberately not talking about uh, the, the, the worst story you could read on the news. ATF Special Agent Jack Webb agrees. Local law enforcement trains for this. You can help if you see something suspicious, but otherwise, he says, don't let it disrupt your life. I carry on my daily life. I do everything I normally do. I don't do anything differently because then they, then they win, and you, you can't let them win. That training picture we just showed you was actually taken by Metro Police today. They just happened to have an active shooter training scheduled for this afternoon. In the newsroom, Rebecca Schleicher, News Channel 5. It's good to know they're prepared. Thanks, Rebecca.